activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. I'm so excited to be in India with you, Mika. Me too, Blippi. You're right, Tabs. Those lights are super cool. They're so pretty. They must be for a celebration. A celebration indeed. Happy Diwali. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Hello, friends. I'm Deep. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs and Mika. Nice to meet ya. Diwali looks like so much fun. Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Diwali? I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> Diwali is the festival of lights. I'm a Dia, a clay lamp with the most important job for Diwali, filling the city with lots and lots of light, like... This! <laughs> Let's dance! We love to dance! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Tremendous! <laughs> oh no! We can't celebrate the valley without lights! It's okay, Tabs. We know it was an accident. Don't worry, Deep. We'll help you relight the lanterns. But how? I can't reach the roof. To the Blippi Mobile! I'm gonna need wings and the grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirm. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Ready, friends? Let's save the valley! was awesome! Yes! Thank you for helping me, my friends. It was wonderful spending time with you. Diwali is all about spending time with family and friends. Yikes! Whoa! Dabs' paws are blue! One of my two favorite colors! So silly! And look! There's purple and yellow in this beautiful piece of art. That piece of art is called a rangoli. A rangoli is a colorful decoration made with sand, petals, rice, and diyas, like me. Fantastic! With the lights back up, now everyone can see the beautiful rangoli and celebrate Diwali! And I got the answer to my question. How do you celebrate Diwali? Diwali is the festival of lights, and you celebrate it by lighting lanterns, making colorful rangoli art, and spending time with your family and friends. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for teaching us about Diwali, Deep. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to celebrate Diwali every year. <laughs> Wow, that bee sure seems busy. And so does that one. And that one too. They're all so busy. <laughs> well, except that one. Those bees are busy making honey. Hmm, I wonder, how do bees make honey? Yes, let's go into the beehive. I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm. Wings, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down! You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi, I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be. 
Mickey, so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. OK, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler, lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijan, are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. Got to chew, that's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. <laughs> I rhymed again. <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew. Then we swallow. Ah, the nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey. Then we put it in the honeycomb. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. Oh dear. This may look funny, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. It's a bee thing. Whoa! Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer, Tabs. Bye, Bijan. Thanks for being you. <laughs> <laughs> What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car! It's going so fast! Huh? You're right, the Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder, why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo! We can go to the racetrack and find out! I'm gonna need race car tires! Race car tires confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the race track? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> oh, nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! I'm going really fast. Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can. Only 180 miles per hour now. Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars. Plus, my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain. Do your thing. You can do it, Debo. Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do. My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track. Thanks, Debo. Now you're even faster! My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi! Whoa! I'm blown away! 
Hey, but now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! <laughs> oh, Tabs! Look at this amazing rainforest! You're right! I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder, what kind of animals live in a rainforest? I'm gonna need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! This place is so green! They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do, actually. Hey! It's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bye, the giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super! Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye! I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure! Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house! The juiciest shoots are at the top! Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey! Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. It's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream! Unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing! There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa! Little red bugs! Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies! Oh, no! I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, Bai. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye bye. Oh no! Debo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Evo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow, these colorful. 
beautiful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? <laughs> Ivan, you have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait, are we at the bottom now? No, you have reached my knees. Still a bit of a way to go. Do you think you've got one more big gold left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom. Woohoo! I knew you did. You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet. Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around. <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea. You're like a mountain. <laughs> oh, Nemo! Oh no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Oh. Whoa, Tabs, that bouncy castle is out of this world. Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. And there's the moon! <laughs> yeah! Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. Hmm, I never tried it myself, being a rock. But let me see if I can just get up. All right, then let's bounce. Cha, 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 cha. I'm light as a feather up here. I never knew I could have been having so much fun! Woohoo! It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity! It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun and the bounces are really big because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky. Keep on bouncing, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, look at that. 
tabs? It's an adorable kitty cat. <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers. Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs. Let's follow that kitty cat and find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Ready for adventure! Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa! What was that? Hey! It's me, Blippi! What's your name? Hit please the name, and treats are my game! Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> Holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. <laughs> Yeehaw! Woo! Flawless. How do you land so perfect? My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this! Aha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippi! It's so dark! How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats! No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all! What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Jackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm happier than a pig in mud! What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye bye Kipley! Thanks, Blippi. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all! It's so hot. I wish we had a cool treat to cool down. <laughs> That's a great idea, Debo. We'll get popsicles to beat the heat. <laughs> oh, oh. Whoa. Oh no! I wonder, what's wrong with the Blippi Mobile? It's hard to see what's wrong. We'll need to shrink down to get a better look. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is not ready for adventure, but we are. Wow, the inside of the Blippi Mobile looks so cool! But how will we ever figure out how to fix it? Do I hear someone in need of help fixing something? Hi, I'm Wonky the Rich, at your service for any and all repairs. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Mika and Debo. Wonky, will you help us figure out what's wrong with the Blippi Mobile? Hey, you bet. Here are some things we should check. First up, make sure the bolts are tight. There are a lot of bolts down here. I know just the wrench to tighten them. Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> Those are some sweet moves, Wonky. Ooh. I tell you what, I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Ten out of ten. That one's tightened. <laughs> hey, Debo, it's righty tighty, lefty Lucy. Yeah. Next up, let's make sure all the switches are on. This way. Oh, no! Whoopsie! Ooh. Now, let's check out the gears. Woohoo! Woo hmm, I think the gears are supposed to move. Hey, there's a toy in the gear! Is that your toy, Debo? Don't worry, I'm on it! Dead <laughs> gummit, it's not working! We can help! <laughs> it worked! Yeah! Ho oh, ho! Now this is the best part of fixing things when it's all fixed. And I got the answer to my question. The Blippi Mobile wasn't working because there was a toy stuck in the gears. But now, the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Upload answer, Debo. I'm here anytime you need a helping wrench. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye bye. Growing up. Now who's ready for a popsicle? Me! <laughs> wow! That's a pretty tall mountain. I'm sure there are way taller mountains, Tabs. Hmm, I wonder, what's the tallest mountain in the world? Great idea, Tabs. We'll go to the Himalayas and find out. I'm gonna need wings and the grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirm. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find the tallest mountain in the world. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're looking for the tallest mountain. I'm climbing it right now. Hi, I'm Betty the Yeti. Yeti. I was just headed to the top. That's where the best snow is. <laughs> Nothing worse than old snow. <laughs> Can I tag along? I want to see what it's like on top of the tallest mountain. Of course, but get ready. This mountain is super tall. Woo! Ice! We're up so high, and it's much colder up here. Thanks, Tabs. I love hot cocoa. Whoa! Oh, gotcha! Oh, phew. That was a close one. Hey, it's the mountain top. Yeah, we made it. Oh, whoa! It's so windy up here. I got you, Blippi. So, what is the name of this mountain? It's Tamalangma! Oh, you call it Mount Everest. You're right, Tabs. I have the answer to my question. What's the tallest mountain in the world? It's Mount Everest. It's 29,035 feet tall. Upload answer, Tabs. And the snow up here is delicious. <laughs> snow burps. <laughs> Have a good snow snack. Bye, Betty the Yeti. Bye, Flippy. Ooh, 
It's so hot out today, but my popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder, why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Lippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking down! Woohoo! I'm in the ice cream truck. Hi, welcome to my neighborhood. I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in. Hi, Sherry. It's me, Blippi. I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Oh, I know that one. But first, let's have some frozen fun. All right. Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding. <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding. I'm chocolate fudge snorkeling. Sherry, are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Mmm, ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the blippy mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right. Which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because... Popsicles will melt if they get too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye bye. Sorry, Tabs. I was just making a T-Rex shadow puppet with my hand. Aww, what a tiny dinosaur. Hmm, I wonder, what was the smallest dinosaur? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go back in time and find out. Going back in time! Whoa! We traveled 125 million years into the past, Tabs. Whoa, a dinosaur. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. You wouldn't happen to be the smallest dinosaur, would you? Oh, phew, I thought you were a scary dinosaur. <laughs> I'm Seamus, this is just my head. I'm stuck again. Never fear! Mina is here! Howdy! I'm Mina the Microraptor. Why do you say we try to dig my friend Seamus out? I might be only one foot tall, but I'm pretty strong. I've got an idea. Be back in a jiffy! Coconut shovels? What a great idea! Lucky for us, my four wings help me fly up there extra fast. Oh no! My coconut shovel broke! Mine too! Are you able to move, Seamus? <gasps> well, you did your best, but I guess I live here now. Maybe if we had something slippery, we could pull you out. Hey! I know a cave filled with super slippery slime! This way! Whoa! This hole is super tiny! Are you sure you can fit? Never fear! Mina is here! Be right back! 
Are you okay? I got the slime! Yeah! <laughs> oh! I can't believe it! <laughs> I'm free! Hooray! We did it! Roar! <laughs> I might be the smallest dinosaur, but even I can do better than that! Wait! Microraptors are the smallest dinosaurs? We sure are! And we roar like this! Roar! Ah, scary dinosaurs! Run for your life! <laughs> Ferocious friends sure are fun. And I got the answer to my question. What was the smallest dinosaur? The smallest dinosaur was the Microraptor. Microraptors are only one foot tall, have four wings, and lived 125 million years ago. Upload answer tabs. See you later, Blippi! Bye bye Mina! Wow, I love our cool Blippi-mobile! You're right, Debo! Our car does have amazing things. Hmm. I wonder, what were the first cars like? Good idea! We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars. I'm gonna need helicopter blades. Helicopter blades confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time! Mobile is ready for adventure. We just traveled back over 100 years. I wonder whose house this is. It's mine. My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am. Come here, future Blippi great grandson. <laughs> Grandpa, we're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing! I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive! Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool! So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine! The engine started! Yeah! It looks like your car can only fit two people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seatbelts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seatbelts? Okay, let's go to the top of that hill. Car have any brakes? It sure does. <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> Hot dog. And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it. Cars only had two seats, and you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Great Grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. I love being at the beach. Whoa, a flying fish. Hmm, I wonder, what's underneath the ocean? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! 
It's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly, it is a forest. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name's Jerry, Jerry the Jellyfish. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friends. Well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right, thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp, kelp! Oh no, this never happens. Great idea, Tabs. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa, that fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, this never happens. Yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here. Wherever we are. Jerry. Jerry? Blippi? Is that you in there? Oh no, hold on. <sighs> Whoa! I scared a gray whale and she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus, and a shark, and a sea turtle, and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter, and a seahorse, and a lobster, and a stingray. Bouncy sand dune. And even bouncier. Wow, what an amazing sandcastle. Wave incoming. Oh, no. Looks like that castle was no match for that wave. Huh, I wonder, can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Tabs. There is only one way to find out. I need to build a sandcastle of my own. I'm gonna need the excavator arm and spider legs. Excavator arm, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for action. Let's go make a sandcastle that won't get washed away. Now we need to make ourselves sandcastle size. Drinking down! Feel that cool ocean breeze, Tabs. Whoa! Hi there, I'm Krabby the Crab. Pleasure to meet you. Ooh, crocky, I don't know my own strength. Hi, Krabby. It's me, Blippi. And this is my Blippi mobile. I love it. <laughs> so, you out taking a fun ride? Actually, Krabby, I'm here because I'm curious if I can build a sandcastle that won't get washed away. You came to the right crab. I'm a planner, digger, and a builder. I can help you, Blippi. Great. So, the first thing we're going to do is build a moat. That's a fancy word for a hole. You see, the water goes into the hole and doesn't wash away what's behind it. So, let's dig. <laughs> dig, 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 dig. Wow, what a hole. Now let's build a sandcastle. You're right, Tabs. We are going to need a shovel. Finished. Success. You already built it, Krabby. And our moat is perfect. The moat's the hole we dug all around the sandcastle. Great moat and best sandcastle ever. Wave incoming! The moat 
worked, Krabby. This means I think I have the answer to my question. Can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? I can by making a hole around it to catch the water. Upload answer tabs. Thanks, Krabby. See you later, Blippi. Keep on digging. <laughs> Mmm, salad. Oh, thanks, Tabs. Didn't know this lettuce was stuck in my teeth. I guess a toothbrush would help. Hmm, I wonder, how do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? Great idea! We can go meet a toothbrush in a mouth. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! It's time to shrink down and go into a mouth! Shrinking down! We're inside a mouth! You're right, Tabs. We need a way to clean these teeth. Would a brush help? Hi, I'm Bill Brushy. And you are? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. I want to find out how to use a toothbrush to clean teeth. Well, you're asking the right brush. Hop on, and I'll show you the best way to clean your teeth. All right. Hey, Bill Brushy. Is that toothpaste on your brush part? Yes, sir. It helps keep teeth healthy and food free. Okay, now here's how to brush your teeth. Let's go to the front first. So, small circles on every tooth. Whoa! Okay, that's the front done. Let's go to the back now. We turned, we flipped. Little circles round and round. All right. Let's make some more. Circles, circles, circles. These teeth are the molars. I call them the chew crew, since they do most of the work. I know, Tabs. Toothbrushing is a wild ride. Wow! I think I have the answer to my question. How do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? It cleans by brushing the front, back, and in between of all teeth in little circle motions. And that pushes all the food out from between the teeth and makes them nice and clean. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for your help, Blippi and Tabs. Remember to brush twice a day for two minutes each time for super sparkling teeth. We will. Thanks for letting us ride along, Brushy. Bye-bye. Whoa, look at all those elephants. Hmm, I wonder, what do elephants use their trunks for? You're right, Debo. We should go ask one and find out. I'm gonna need a water hose and duck feet. Water hose, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. <laughs> Yikes! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 me, Blippi, and that's Debo. Hey, we were wondering, what do elephants use their trunks for? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Tempo. <laughs> Whoa! We elephants use our trunks to help cool down by sucking up water and spraying it on our body. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down the slide again. Race you to the show! You're on! Whoa! 
Whoa! How could you breathe underwater? That's another great thing about my trunk. I can breathe through it. Wow! Just like my nose. <coughs> exactly. Hey, speaking of noses, I smell bananas. Elephants have an excellent sense of smell. Come on, hop on my back. Oh, boy! <laughs> Thank you! Look! Another slide! I wish we could go down that one, but the path is blocked. Check this out! Another great thing about trunks is that I can move just about anything. Last one down is a banana peel. Whoa! This is the best day ever! Whoa! Ready or not, here I come! Elephants also use their trunks to make sounds, like when we are excited. That's amazing! <laughs> Thank you, Tembo, for helping me find the answer to my question. What do elephants use their trunks for? Elephants use their trunks to smell, breathe, make sounds, suck up water, and even grab things. <laughs> Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Blippi. See you next time you're in the savannah. Bye-bye. <laughs> we had such a blast! Look at that snowflake! Whoa! Whoa! I agree, Debo. Snowflakes are beautiful. Hmm, I wonder, how is a snowflake made? You're right, Debo. We can go up into a cloud and find out. I'm going to need a grabber arm and wings. Grabber arm, wings, confirm. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> the Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a snowflake is made. We're way up high, and the air is very cold. Isn't it so chill? I mean, welcome to my cloud. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Devo. It looks like you're working hard. You're right. I'm a small particle now, but soon I'll be a big snowflake. Can you pass me those big water vapor clouds? The water in the cloud freezes on me, and then I grow more crystals. One snowflake can contain as many as 100 ice crystals! All of those ice crystals sure made you strong, Mimi. Here! Yeah. Go catch, Devo! <laughs> Now that I'm heavy enough, I can fall towards the ground. Follow me! Yay! <laughs> Mimi, each time water vapor sticks to you and becomes ice crystals, you get even bigger and more impressive. Thanks! You have six points, same as every other snowflake, but your own one-of-a-kind design. Yep, no two snowflakes are alike. That means there's no one like me. That's why I'm called Mimi. A snowman, perfect. I can land there with the rest of my squad. I did it. Stuck the landing. Way to go, Mimi. <laughs> and I have the answer to my question. How is a snowflake made? It starts as a particle in the air and collects ice crystals as it gets colder and colder, eventually forming a unique snowflake. Upload answer, Debo. Bye bye, Mimi. Bye, Blippi.